Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams are indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds are yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Cagliari have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. So that's got things on the way. Plays it out to the flank. Foot in. Camille Glick. Played in with accuracy. He's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. That will be a throw in. Wrong. And here's Pavoletti. Receives it in a good position. Puts it across. Say, I think a cautious start from both teams. And he's there to cut it out. He's had a shot! He's scored! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Benevento will have an early lead. Good start. Up towards the front line. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Tries to get it forward quickly. to locate someone up front, cuts it out. Could move up a gear here. Defending of the desperate variety. And here's Pavoletti. It's got through to him. Patula. Looks to bypass the midfield. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Real chance! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Get 
gets up to head it. Back of the net. And already they're looking to run away with it. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? He's left his man. Shoots! It's come back out! No mistake! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Lapadula really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And here's Pavoletti. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Here's Pavoletti, hits one, in it goes, they are right back in business. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. We and it's half time here. And it has been a pretty crazy game so far. The game played out in extraordinary fashion, and the scoreline underlines that. The midway point of the game. We've seen some really terrific football in that half with the flow of goals, and of course, there are mistakes, but I'm not in a, a mood to moan. Terrific half, four goals split evenly, beautifully set up for the second period to follow. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Shapes to shoot. Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Rob. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Petamai. Camille Glick. Quick pull forward. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out. Lapadula! Well, he's got options out wide. Oh, well.
well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's played forward. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Look, if they want to shut down the threat, he's a very good place to start. Plays it out to the wing. It's good distance on it. And here's Pavoletti. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Well, if he truly fancies his chances from here, he's going to need the best of the best. Certainly looks appetizing, well within shooting range. He's comfort against the crossbar. Cleared without complication. Oh, that's a waste. Done very well to intervene. Clearance and very necessary. And here's Pavoletti. Surely. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Benevento showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Defenders on the back foot. Camille Click. That's been drilled forward. He's in space and looking for options. Needs a quality cross. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And that will be the final act. Well, no winner here, but an intriguing game. The result probably a fair reflection. It has finished all square. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Gallery certainly had some good moments, Pete.